Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pitch Practice, where I, Adam Kirk, your host, help you break down the foundations of the sale and help you simplify the overall process, making you an expert in your sales career. Today, we're covering step four of the straight line system, a system created by Jordan Belfort, also known as the Wolf of Wall Street. Now, today's step four, we are covering the transition. Although it is a minute step in the overall sales process, it is vital, so make sure you stick around. So let's get started. Let's kick it off, picking right up from step three. Now that we have built rapport, we've gone through the needs assessment, we've kind of built up that relationship and that rapport with our customer, we're now moving into the transition. We're transitioning from building that relationship to actually selling them on a product, right? Closing them on that product. Now the transition, like I said before, it is a minute step. And the reason why is because it's really just that thin line of transitioning from building the relationship to the actual close, right? The back end, it kind of runs as that border between the two. Now the transition can be comprised of three components. Let's start with number one. Now that you've built rapport with your customer, it's time to present a solution to their problem. Right, so once you've kind of gained all this information, it might look something like this. All right, John, so kind of based off of what you've told me and where you're at right now, I'm going to have to recommend a couple different products and you tell me what you think. Now, we want to usually recommend no more than three solutions. Now, we don't want to do any more than three because if you have too many options, oftentimes this is going to create buyer's remorse, which is pretty much when a buyer decides not to buy at all because it'd be a bigger mistake to buy the wrong thing than to just not buy at all, right? So we want to make sure that we're giving them a very select few on the solutions to their problem. However, we want to recommend a specific one. What this does is it kind of gives them favor towards one and increasing the chances of getting a close. Now, once you get the customer or the potential customer in this case, leaning towards a specific product, or maybe he picks something different, but once you get him leaning towards and kind of favoring a specific product that you're offering, It's now time to write out the details. Now, I know Grant Cardone talks a lot about this uh, where people don't really believe what they hear, but they believe what they see, right? There's a lot of salesmen out there. They talk fast, they talk sly, they manipulate, and that's why people don't always trust you even if you know how to communicate really well. So it's important, get your pen out, get your paper out, break it down, write it down, show them the product, the features, the price points, and really everything there is to know. Another big step in this process is have your smartphone or an iPad or computer handy so if they want to go on and compare prices or products, they can do that. This gives you an opportunity to handle the objection of, oh, let me think about it or, oh, let me shop around or, oh, let me see what your competitors are offering. Now, a lot of salesmen might get uncomfortable with this concept of them saying, let me go shop over your other competitors and see what they're offering. But at the end of the day, It is your goal not to beat your competitors, but to service your potential customer. So in order to have that full transparency, you should have no shame in letting them search competitors, prices, and products in your own midst. Because I don't know about you, but I would rather have my customer looking at products and price points from my competitors in front of me than at home at their office, right? Now, as a recap of step one and step two, right? We've gained the information, we've built the rapport, we've built the relationship, and now we're transitioning into the back end of the sale. Covering step one one more time, it's as simple as, okay, John, based off of what you've told me and where you're at, I'm gonna have to recommend these three products. Usually these three products are gonna have different price points. It'll give you an opportunity to kind of see where they're at financially and also give them some options, making them not feel like they're locked into anything specific. 
giving them something to kind of favor, giving them something to lean on, oftentimes leading to a higher close rate. Once they've kind of seen which product that they like and you begin to understand which one they're favoring, it's now time to write it out, write out the price, write out the product, write out the features and the solution to their problem and make it available for them to search other competitors' prices and products. Now, some people may not agree with this concept, but for me, if I truly believe in my product and my service, I'm gonna have no shame in allowing them to search with other competitors in front of me, so if they have any questions or concerns, I can answer on the spot. And this is just another step that separates the rookies and the amateurs from the experts in their field. So step three, pretty short and sweet here. Once you have built up their rapport, once again, the relationship is there. You've figured out which product that they're leaning towards or favoring, and you've written out the details about that product. It's now time to begin to gain your thoughts, collectively gain their attention, and begin to transition into the presentation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I understand that the transition is very, very small but I want to break down each and every one of these steps for you to understand what the importance is of each step and what key role that it's going to play in the sales process. Now, once again, the transition is small, but it's vital because we go from simply building a relationship and building rapport with them only to transition into a close, asking them for a purchase of product. Now, when you transition right, When you know how to transition swift and smooth, it's going to increase the chances of the close and more importantly, help you with consolidation and creating a loyal long-term customer. And at the end of the day, we don't just want to service a customer, we want to service a friend, someone who's going to come back to us and rave about our services year after year. So there you have it. Short, sweet, and simple. The transition is very small, yet it is vital in the sales process. So take some time to think about how you transition from the relationship building to the close, from the front end to the back end of the sale. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Be sure to stick around for episode five of the Straight Line System, where we are gonna talk about the presentation, possibly one of my favorite steps of this whole process, because you're gonna learn the difference between selling a product and presenting a product. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and of course, drop a comment below. Take care.